All right, I'm Matt. I'm Rabir. And this is Sound Like on Anderson TV. I was playing a game recently. Yes, what was it called? It's called Doom. Doom. And <gasps> it's a really good game. Well, how apt that was. Well, yeah, because the name of the game is essentially the genre of music we're going to be trying to do today. Yes, so we're going to be trying to sound like, and this is like really requested, we've had loads of requests for this, Matt Pike from Sleep and High on Fire. There you go. Look at it. So uh, Doomish band, just lots of intense fuzzes and colossal tones. Big wall of sound, yeah. lots of droney type notes. We're going to need bass for this. We're going to need bass for this, yeah. and we're going to need guitar for this, I think. Mm. So let's do That's that That's important. Now. Bye. So, Matt Pike is a humbucker player. Yes, Les Pauls. Yeah, Les Pauls. He's used a lot of. So we are in, surrounded by Les Pauls right now. We are. The question is Epiphone or Gibson. It depends what's on stock. It, dep it depends on price for Gibson, I guess. Okay, six, 613 pounds. I think that could be a winner already. Um, for a Gibson Les Paul model. Uh, it's a pretty basic uh, Les Paul model, but it is Gibson American made, 2018. So I guess it would do a, the trick. It depends if there's a Epiphone equivalent that's got higher spec pickups maybe or something, I don't know. I think what we should do is go with this and then get an amp mm -hmm. and then see how we go on pedals. Okay. And if we're running out of budget, we could always switch it out. Yes, we could. And save a bit of moolah. We've got the guitar then. Yeah. We're doing it. Matt Pike is known for using orange amplifiers as, as well, well as other things. Yeah, I was going to say, as well as loads of other things. We saw Soldanos, Marshalls. I've seen Laney, loads yeah. of stuff. So, um, But orange, there's a picture of him stood in front of a wall of orange amps. Okay, so, so we can, I mean, it's going to be down to budget, I think, because orange yeah. are, I mean, the Crush series is quite like affordable. And then the, if you want to go Valve. They're a Doom band with lots of fuzz, and if you put that into a solid state amp, it's not going to work. It's not going to hack it. So, uh, if we're going to go Valve, then we've this. got the Rocker 15 for 649 here. It's, we were a bit concerned that it's a 1, one by 10 it's speaker, a one by 10 speaker. not a 112. So, that's not going to sound get colossal. The, like, coloss yeah, the colossal sounds that we colossal. need. But then there's the 210 version, which is more money. So it's kind of like... 900. But the, the problem is, like, 110 or 210, it's not going to do it. Well, then and do we need something that's a 112 combo? And if so, we do need a it probably combo. won't be orange. But that's just not, that's not a vibe. What about the, the tweaker? Tweaker... Mm, I, do you know when it's one of those things that his tone is obviously dependent very specifically on certain elements, like the amplifier. If you go with something, we don't know how it's going to sound. To get to the video The only, room, thing, the only just... reason I've mentioned the tweaker is because it's called the tweaker. <laughs> which means it's tweakable in many different ways. And, and if we're going to be relying on the on pedals for fuzz and all the kind of meaty distortion type sounds and not the amp, it might just be a good pedal platform. Or a Black Star. Not the ID Core. No, but we but could go the, the, club, the, the Club stuff. 40. They've got the HT stuff. The Club 40, 599, is cheaper than the 10 inch orange. Yeah, Joss is nodding his head in the background. The Club 40 Mark II. Well, that would leave us still like 260, 70 quid for... Well, do you know there's a pedal pedals. that Mr. Black's just brought in called, called the Doom? It's and a Doom something, isn't it? It's a fuzz. Doom King or something. And it's for Doom. doom stick. It's Doom, doom Stick. stick and it's for one. Doom Bounce. music. <laughs> so, why don't, why don't we try it? Should we get okay, this? Okay, let's do it. This let's is do new it. as well. It is. We've used the, the kind of old HT Club 40 before. Okay. So that's what we're going to get. Let's do it. So we're in the pedal area. Looking for pedals. We've yes. grabbed the Mr. Black Doomstick. And the mo we might be just basing this on the fact that it's called the Doomstick. Yeah, but and also that's the Doom video game which I was talking about at the beginning of this video that I was playing. Like, that's cool, the logo cool from the segue. game. So I'm like all about that. In any case, it's got one giant black knob on the front and I think that's all we're going to need. That's all you ever need. Yeah. We're so we could need to go find something, something maybe something stone deaf. We Maybe. could go stone Although, deaf. Will that blow our budget? Or we could go Caitlin Bread. 
because we could try the Sabra Kadabra because that's oh, a Black the Sabbath type one. Well, that's general. exactly what the kind we. And they sound like Black Sabbath on steroids. So. Or slowed down to half speed. So we couldn't get a Sabra Kadabra. We couldn't. However, the well, MXR Microamp. We're thinking of using that to give the whole thing a little bit of a push and then mm. blending. We can blend what you see with the Black Star inbuilt drive and this Doomstick. Um, <laughs> perhaps the three of those combined will we'll get, get us there. a Matt Pike sound. It's been, it's been a long, arduous journey, and a bit fell asleep, no pun intended. Had to climb a very ma big mountain of tone to get here to tell you that we've got all the gear. We have all the gear, hopefully an idea. Yeah, so Microamp Plus from MXR, we got the Doomstick from Mr. Black. Which and is then, a great name. Well, Matt's using the Vintage Deluxe from Dark Glass because it's amazing. And we have this Gibson Les Paul. So let's go get our Doom on. Let's do it. <laughs> 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 This spiritual journey to sound like Matt Pike of Sleep and High on Fire. I'm going to say this now. This is by far and away the heaviest sound like we've ever it attempted. It is so much of noise. everything. <laughs> it's just so much. It's. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's <laughs> yes. Oh, it's huge. You can bleep that bit out. Yeah, I'll bleep that I bit didn't out. Didn't say it. Yeah, it's that intense that. Literally downstairs, Chris is working on some videos on the room underneath, and he said everything is shaking in the room yeah, downstairs. We've opened all the doors, but not with our hands. Yeah, literally, some of the doors have opened <laughs> by themselves because of the vibrations in the room. Yeah, this is like the this is the biggest wall of sound band we've ever done. I really hope it comes across. We, we've got, we, yeah. I mean, in the room, it's huge. Yeah, and everything's overloading, and everything's we broke cameras and doors and everything. So. Oh, it might not sound as colossal. The ginormous sound, yeah. As it does in the room. But, but who knows, yeah. We'll find out later. So let me show you the guitar. Uh, we are using today Gibson Les Paul. It's an American 2018 model. Probably one of the most affordable you could get from the USA range because it's around 618 pounds. It's like a walnut kind of brown. Uh, dot, dot inlays, which looks a little bit... I'm, I'm not used to seeing that on a Les Paul, but yeah, we've used... We've used it before, yeah. I think, and it's a nice, it's a just a nice, affordable Gibson Les Paul. Mm. And Matt Pike obviously is well known for using Les Pauls, as well as other things, I should say. There's a first act nine string I've heard about, um, but in the Filthy. most in the most part, yeah. we're going to. This has been kind of our go-to in, also in drop, well C standard. Yeah, C standard is the tuning. So I've put twelve to fifty-six on this. Nice, um, and. It runs straight into the MXR microamp, which, apart from the treble, is on full. So the bass and the gain is all the way up. Running out of that into the Mr. Black Doom stick. Which is on full. Which is on full. And then that goes out into the Blackstar HT Club 40 Mark II. Which isn't on full. No. However, it's... We're using the highest gain stage with the volume on full. Yes. And actually, we've, we, I think the biggest thing with this was trying to make it sound colossally huge. Yeah. But because there's kind of like fuzz elements, it mm. does that kind of squashed sound. It has to sound overloaded. Yeah, yeah. but also big at the same time. Yeah. And if we found that if we if we'd have too much gain on the amp, it just sounded really small. So yeah. actually backing that off for some of the sections sounded really good. We've scooped out most of the mid, we've boosted the ISF all the way to the right, treble's ducked out, bass is boosted, 
And it's just, the idea is, it's on the 40 watt mode as well. And basically, what we were trying to do is find the right kind of sound of the fuzziness in and amongst it being completely overloaded and intense. Well, let's stack it up then. So start with just guitar and amp. Okay, so this is... I'll, I'll okay. get these going. I think, that the, uh, I think that the amp on its own with the guitar, with these settings, sounds pretty fat. Anyway, this is how it sounds. Horribly filthy. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Uh, all right, MXR micro amp. Okay, so before, this is how it is now. That is. Oh, <laughs> ah, that's massive. And there's also a lot, a lot of background noise. So yeah. we'll, we'll keep killing these off between. So what you probably notice now is it won't suddenly get more gainy. It will just get more disgusting. Yes. So I'll let me ring out a chord, then oh, hit that one that. and then this one, one, and I'll just okay. do more of I'll the same. I'll make it really obvious when I'm doing it. If you're not grimacing on the other side of the screen, there's something wrong. Right. Here we go. I mean, it will go and go and go. And just to say, that was one of the sounds that we went for. If I boost the treble, duck off the bass, uh, we did, this is a bit closer to something we had before. The strings were so <laughs> flappy that I was about to overbend <laughs> ridiculously then. if you just leave it to do its own thing? What, if I just turn it on and leave it? I mean, there's not more, there's no, this is the rig, that's it. That's it, and I was kind of playing the bass here with a Fender Precision into, again, the favorite Rumble 100, and this time with the Dark Glass Vintage Deluxe, providing me with some, Horrible as it's tones. called here, grunt. Yeah. Um, so, that sounds like this. Yeah, it's yeah. just disgusting. I'm in, I'm in C standard too. So the idea Whoa. with with both sleep and high and fire is, I think high and fire is a little bit more articulate. There's more information in what they're playing, it's, whereas it's sleep is as well and more riffy. Sleep is just like 
<laughs> just leave it ringing for as long as you can. Uh, lots and lots of drone notes. And I think the, the album we were referencing um, from 2012, I think, is about an hour and 15 long, two tracks. The first track is an hour. <laughs> I love that. It's, it's great. It's, it's incredible. Um, but but it's, look, you requested it. And it's great music, great music. And to be fair, like I'd not heard of Matt Pike or Sleep or High on Fire, and then Josh was like, oh, mate, High on Fire. So we had a little listen, and it is filthy. <laughs> And then just listen to a couple of tracks and like actually I'm gonna probably put some of this on on the way home maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but that's the rig, that's the whole thing. And I think we come well in under budget. Uh, well, not well in, let's say. Well in. No, that's I think what was 600 for the amp, mm. 620, that's 1220. Yeah. The stick. Yeah, you're talking probably yeah. just shy of 1500 pounds because yeah. there's a few hundred quid in these and yeah, that's it. Cool. Well, that's the rig. There you go. Let us know how if you've still got any ears left and you've um, been able to stand the sounds coming from your speakers or headphones. Yes. Today. We hope you enjoyed this. We'll put links in the description box below. For all the gear mm -hmm. used. And if you'd like us to try and sound like anyone else, however filthy, disgusting, or clean and ambient and beautiful and twinkly, maybe we'll do Britney Spears next to like counteract, counteract it. Yeah, pop it in the comment section. There you go, let us know who you think. Um, and that leaves us with just one thing. I've been Matt. And I've been Rebecca. And this has been Lounge Psych. On TV and the fans. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Anderton's Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting, and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.